tell you a story about a man. He was living actually at the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he was a very wise man and he was a very rich person. Allah has blessed him with children, with wealth, you name it. People, when the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I am the Messenger of Allah and I have the words of Allah, I came with the book of Allah. People got together and they went to this person to take advice from this person. So you, now you can imagine how important this personality, this figure in the history. His name was Walid bin Mughira. And Walid bin Mughira, they went to Walid bin Mughira to take his advice. What do you think about the Quran? People are burning the Quran today. Look, when they went to him and they said to him about the Quran, Kalla innahu kana li ayatina anida. Innahu kana li ayatina. He just, he was just stubborn about our ayat. Innahu kana li ayatina anida. You know stubborn. Stubborn, what stubborn mean? Like a child, he's hungry. And you tell him, Go, come and eat. He knows he's hungry. He knows he needs to eat. And he just don't want to eat. He's just been stubborn. Right? So this person... He knew, he realized, these are the words of Allah, these are the book of Allah. It cannot be a poetry, it cannot be made by any other human being, because he had the knowledge about the language, but he was so stubborn towards it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, as, as soon he was stubborn towards the book of Allah. He was just stubborn towards the book of Allah. Today people are burning the book of Allah. Allah says, I'm going to make it difficult for him. His entire affairs are going to be difficult for him. He has children, he has wealth, he has everything in his life. I will make him to gain these things as you climbing up the mountain. This is how difficult I'm going to make things for him right now. Because he's not been fair with the book of Allah, with the words of Allah. Innahu, so when people went up to him and they asked him this question, Innahu fakkara wa qadr. That person, he thought about the words of Allah. Innahu fakkara. He thought about it. Wa qadr. He estimated about it. How he estimated about it? He said, this cannot be a story. A teacher cannot write it. This cannot be a poetry. A poet cannot write something like this. This cannot be the words of any human being. Innahu fakkara wa qaddar. And then after realizing these are the words of Allah, fakutila kaifa qaddar. He killed his own thought. How evil that was that he realized these are the words of Allah, fakutila kaifa qaddar. He killed his own thought. And then, ثُمَّ قُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرْ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala repeat the ayah. Again, he killed how evil that thought was. He knows the truth now. He estimated the truth. And now he killed the truth. ثُمَّ قُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرْ Then, you know how when people are sitting and they're enjoying and you are on the table or on the floor and someone asks you a question, you give a thought to that question, you, you think about it you know, fakkar wa qadr, and then thumma nazar, he looked up, thumma nazar, and he looked up. After he looking up, thumma abasa wa basar, and then his face frowned, you know, anger on his face, and his expression like, you know how people do it, like they act so intelligent, they think, they look up, they go like this, all that, that action that he did, Allah wa ta'ala is recording in the Quran. Thumma abasa wa basar, then he turned away with arrogance. And now he has to tell those people, what is it? Because they came to ask question. He realized in his thought that these are the words of Allah. He said, فَقَالَ إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرٌ يُسَرْ He said, these are the words of some magician. Some magic words. This is all he said. Today we are burning the words of Allah. We are disrespecting the words of Allah. He haven't burned or he haven't put the book of Allah under his feet. All he did, he killed his own thought and he didn't tell the truth. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, he says, he said, فَقَالَ إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرٌ يُسَرٌ إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا قَوْلُ الْبَشَرٌ This is 
This is, these are the words of a human being. These are not the words of Allah. After realizing these are the words of Allah, he said these are the words of human being. As soon he said that, Sa'usli hi sakar. Sa'usli, sa mean future kareeb. Those who knows Arabic, sa means future kareeb. Allah is giving him the punishment, announcing his punishment right there and then. Sa'usli hi sakar. I will burn him inside the sakar. Allah knows we don't, we, we don't know what his sakar is. Allah, Allah is saying, you don't know what is sakar. I tell you what is sakar. Sa'uslihi sakar. Wa ma adraka ma sakar. La tubki wa la tadar. It does not spare. It does not leave anything behind. You have hair. You have skin. You have eyes. You have legs. You have arm. It does not spare anything. And it does not leave anything behind. La tubki wa la tadar. La wahatul lil bashar. Allahu Akbar. You know your hand has a shape. Like this is the shape of a hand and your face has a shape, your legs has a shape. Allah is saying in sakar, it does not leave your skin, it will disfigure your parts. It will burn to a level that you cannot recognize that this was hand and this was face and this was leg. This is the punishment of someone in the past who just denied the signs of Allah, who just denied the word of Allah, who just denied the book of Allah, and humanity thinking that they will get away with something, burning the whole book of Allah. Rahim.